Hello, welcome to LLO Gamers and welcome back to my Tech It Tutorials. Since the last video I did, we've managed to get this world on our server. So if you look over there, that's uh, where Louis from the channel was messing around. I think that's where he's building his base. Uh, I'll probably go over there in another video and have a look at what he's been up to. Or he may do some content himself from the server. Not really sure what his plans are yet. Yeah, so what have I been up to? I've uh, moved the energy condenser into here, just for ease of use, because I've been using it a fair bit. Got a chest full of random crap over here. Made a few more bat boxes. Got one there, one up on the next floor, and one on the roof. Haven't wired them up yet, because I'll be doing that in a minute, and explaining what that's all about. I've uh, tidied up this area a bit. Made it look a bit messy and take up a bit less space just by um, digging out behind and putting most of the pipes out there. Then if you come along here, I've dug out the floor and put down more pipes for the next two machines I'm going to be making in a second. Got a chest there with a wooden pipe all ready to go. So before I show you how to make the machines, I need to get something else going. If I put the, some coal in the macerator it turns it to coal dust but unlike the ores you won't get two dust from one bit of coal you'll just get the one but I'm going to need a fair bit of this to show you a few things in a bit so I'm going to leave that going while I make the next two machines right so first up I'm going to make an extractor for that we need four tree taps for any recipe that you need tools, um, you always need to make sure that they're unused so they don't have the uh, damage bar shown up yet, otherwise it won't work. So uh, yeah, so you need the four tree taps, one machine block in the top, and an electronic circuit. That makes the extractor. And then, if I get some stone, has to be smooth stone, not cobble, and do either side all the way down like that. The machine block in the middle and an electronic circuit at the bottom, that makes the compressor. So if I come over here to the bits I've got ready, stick the extractor there and the compressor there, they should, yep, yeah, look, they're taking power. So then I'm going to need to come over here and get my wrench. And swap the pipe around the other way. So that's right. So basically the extractor, you can use it to get rubber. But you can put rubber wood in it and even rubber saplings. And that will work as opposed to just putting the sticky resin in the furnace. But also, if you put sticky resin in the extractor, you get three bits of rubber per one sticky resin. So that's the most efficient way of getting rubber, for sure. Uh, also, the compressor is used for a couple of things that I'm going to show you now, that I'll be using at a later date. The first of which, if you get refined iron along the top, get some copper, no not copper sorry, bronze in the middle, that's the one you made from tin and copper dust, and then tin at the bottom, you make these mixed metal ingots, so I've got four of those, and if you put those in a compressor, which will take a little while, they become advanced alloys and they're used in some of the higher sort of more expensive things in industrial craft. But also, while that's doing, the other thing I'm going to use, oh, not the furnace, if I get some of this coal dust, 
if you put coal dust in four like that. Do to do. Uh, that's probably enough. You get raw carbon fiber. And if you put the raw carbon fiber one either side of each other like that, you get raw carbon mesh. Which then, if we go back to the compressor, take out our advanced alloys that we've just made, put the raw carbon mesh in there, and that will make carbon plates. I don't quite need them just yet, but it's always good to get some of these things making because they can be a bit of a faff. You need a lot of coal dust and you have to keep crafting it before you put it in the compressor. So it's always good to sort of get started with that as soon as you can because you will need quite a bit later on. So there you've got the advanced alloys and the carbon plates. So the other thing I wanted to show you with the extractor, uh, basically to start with you need tin. If you put tin round the middle, like so, you make empty cells. So now if I go outside to where there's a water source, I can fill them up and turn them into water cells, which you do just by right clicking. So I'm going to get a few of those quickly before I start getting killed by mobs as it's night time. What's that over there? It's a skeleton rubber banding through the floor. Awesome. Yeah, so if I go back in... Oh, wrong way. Such a noob. Right, so you put the water cells in the extractor and that turns those into coolant cells which you use for various things but the main reason I'm starting to make some now is because at some point when I make the overclockers I told you about in the last video they need quite a few of these coolant cells so what I've done the reason I've set this up to take them out is because coolant cells don't stack whereas the water cells and the empty cells do. So you would have to keep coming back here and taking it out every time in order for it to do another one. So if you set it up like this, piping it out to a chest, you don't need to worry about it. You just whack them in and it'll do as many as you've got. So right, they're the main sort of uses for the extractor and the compressor that I'm going to be using for a while. Uh, next thing I want to do is basically sort out a replacement for this generator because it's still pretty expensive at the moment because you're still burning loads of fuel because you have to put coal in here all the time to top it up and you know things with the, like the electric furnace I mean you might as well just be using an iron one and just putting coal in it anyway so what we're going to do we're going to start looking at solar power so what we're looking at here is industrial craft solar power there are also other types of solar panels for the red power mod but they won't work with what we're trying to use them for here they don't they're not compatible with EU so uh, the industrial craft ones you make those with a generator at the bottom you use electric circuits either side of that you make a little triangle of glass above that and then if you fill the gaps in with coal dust you make a solar panel. I'm going to make eight of those straight away because with eight of those you can make a low voltage solar array but in order to do that first of all we need to make a low voltage transformer so in order to do that you get copper along the middle like so. You put wooden planks in the corners and then you get your good old copper cables for the top and bottom. We're going to make two of those for now just because 
they're quite handy. I'll use them again, so I might as well. And then we take the uh, low voltage transformer, and if you put your eight solar panels around it, you make a low voltage solar array. You can also make medium voltage and high voltage solar arrays, but they um, they go up in the same way. So in order to make a medium voltage, you need eight of the low voltage, and in order to make a high voltage, you need eight of the medium. So for the high voltage solar arrays, they do create an insane amount of power, but in order to make one, you will have needed to have crafted over 500 of the basic solar panels in order to make enough of each of the other levels to get all the way up to having one high voltage which is just completely insane some people set up um, automatic crafting tables to do the crafting for you but it's still a bit of a faff because it takes a long time to make those systems in the first place but for now what we're using with these machines a one low voltage will be good enough to get us started and then I'm going to look into other sources of power like I want to mess around with lava and make a geothermal generator so that would be pretty cool but in order to uh, wire up these solar panels and these other bat boxes I'm going to make some better cables because the cob cables we've been using they lose quite a lot of power over distance and uh, we don't really want that so we're going to make some glass fiber cables the only problem with which is that they're very expensive because they use diamond but they're a lot better in the long run so I'm going to have to make quite a few and in order to do that you use diamond in the middle redstone either side and glass top and bottom which means I haven't got quite enough here enough glass to make as many as I wanted but that's how you make them glass fibre cables got 20 there right so I've made a load more of those I've got 40 altogether that should be more than enough for what I need so let's uh, get rid of this generator and start wiring up these. You basically do it exactly the same as you did with all the other cables. Um, there we go. That's those ones done. Right, so that's now wired all the way up to the top. All of the back boxes have their outputs facing downwards, so the chain just goes down through each of them to the bottom one. So now, if I uh, put down, oh, if I shift click and put down a couple of these then I can put down my low voltage solar array and as it's sunny what you'll see is the power's going in but it's coming straight out because it's getting sucked down into the next one so basically the power will go all the way into the bottom one until that one's filled and then it will go up to the next one and so on so at the moment it's just going in but going straight out again so if I have a look downstairs you can see that this bottom one is full and the one above it is starting to fill up so the one above that will be the same as the the top one it will just be whizzing through so now what I think I'm going to do is redo all the copper cables underneath here with glass fibre cable as well just so that we're not losing any power going to these machines so that's all done now I've got all my machines now powered by glass fibre cables underneath uh, I've shown you how to do coal dust how to make carbon plates advanced alloys, mixed metal ingots, coolant cells um, the empty cells, the water cells, that kind of stuff. Got loads of the coolant cells over here now. 
Uh, I'm not actually going to make the overclockers yet that use these because there's not really much point at the moment until I get quarries up and running and I've got a lot more stuff to actually put in the machines. But um, yeah, so all my uh, bat boxes now are filled all the way up to the top. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, as I'm not doing the overclockers, I've still got a bit of time. I'm going to show you a couple of cool things from the equivalent exchange mod again. First of all, this is a very cool little thing. If you use the alchemical chest, which was the really massive one we made and turned it into the energy condenser, if you get another one of those, which I've made already, and stick that in the middle with a load of wool around the bottom, like so, and uh, either side. Then if you get the uh, high-powered covalence dust, the dark blue one, and put that all across the top, you make something called an alchemy bag. And this is very cool because uh, it works from your inventory. So if you uh, have it in your hotbar and you have it actually in your hand and right click on it, you basically have a chest the size of the alchemy chest on you at all times, which is very, very handy indeed. But to make it even cooler, there's another thing you can make called a talisman of repair. And for that, you need low covalence dust in the top left and bottom right corners, the high powered covalence dust in the opposite corners, like so. Top and bottom, you put the medium one. Then you need a bit of paper in the middle and string either side and that makes a talisman of repair. And uh, what that does, if you put it in a... Uh, I think it works in a condenser as well, I'm not really sure, but if you put it in an alchemical chest or your alchemy bag, what happens is then if you chuck your tools and weapons in it and my wrench as well if they're in the same pack that the talisman of repair is they will slowly start to fix themselves which is very handy because if you've got good tools that are made out of say diamond or you know one of the good gems or even some of the higher level tools and stuff you can make you don't want to have to keep making them and wasting diamonds on them and if you can remember to have a talisman of repair in your alchemy bag you can just basically keep them all topped up and you shouldn't have to make them anymore which is very cool so uh, I think that's pretty much it for this video what I'm going to try and do next video is um, look into getting a quarry up and running either, well either get a quarry up and running or get the uh, geothermal facility started unless I can do both in one video which it isn't that likely, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. hope it's been helpful. Uh, click like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, leave any feedback in the comments. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.